Hello, good morning everyone. I'm Tan Winona Fania Nobel from Language Assessment Class. Today, I'm going to criticize my own language assessment test. It is consists of seven tests. The seventh test is writing test, oral test, reading test, listening test, grammar and vocabulary test, overall ability test, and test for young learners. Now I'm going to share screen my own test. Okay, the first test is writing test. And there are the objective of this test. And for each test, there are their own objectives. Okay, now we are going to uh, see uh, the writing test of mine. The first one is to write the own uh, conversation using suggestions and all ring. You can choose one topic from three topics here. And then for the second one is write down your opinion about this following topics support your opinion and give your reason. You have to read for the three numbers. And then number three, it create a formal invitation about wedding ceremony and give the final response. And there, there is a space, you can write it down, your inv wedding invitation and give uh, with the declining response. And then for number four is make a short conversation about the invitation birthday party and give a new response. And this is uh, about the analytical exposition text. You have to uh, fill the space here for the argument one of the three and the conclusion. And then for number six, you have to choose one of the three uh, numbers here and you have to write down in a space here. And uh, write down the five sentences using the cause and effect form. Write a short cause and effect conversation about the heavy flood in Jakarta. And about this, you have to uh, write a format of explanation text about how a tree can thrive and bear much fruit. And there is a song lyrics and you have to answer the following questions here. And then the next is read the poem given below and answer for the questions. And this is also make a short explanation that's based on the pictures below. And then this is a tree for cause and effect. You have to choose one of the topics here and write the, what is the cause and the effects here. And then this is the complete the conversation. And this is also and state uh, arguments on this issue and complete the conversation below. And then this is also, and this is for cause and effect, you have to write it down the answer here and then change this active voice sentence into the passive voice and vice versa. And next for the oral test, there is objectives and then uh, you read aloud the conversation below and then make a conversation using the expressions of asking and giving suggestions. And then here you have to choose one of topics here and uh, follow the instruction. And this is also Make short cause and effect sentence using the clues given below. And then here it is. Uh, you need to read the poem below with the right intonation. And then you have to create dialogue or choose one topic from here. And then this. This is uh, you explain how, how butterflies are formed. You can explain it with explanation text form. And then this is for the cause and effect. And this is for complete the dialogue. And this is also uh, read the text below and answer the following questions. Okay, here. 
and answer the following question using passive form. And then read the poem again and tell us how the process from the tea plants to the tea drinks. And we comes up to reading test. Okay, there are uh, there is a passage and you have to answer the four numbers based on the text. And then this is also for number five up to eight. And then there are some letters of invitation and their replies. Okay, you have to match them. Who is the sender and who is the recipient here? And then fill in the table with the information you get from the invitation above and with their replies. And then this is for number 18 up to 20. There is uh, multiple choices. And then for listening test, you have uh, to listen to the audio. And this is uh, fill in the uh, gap filling, I mean, I'm sorry. Gap filling and then this is a short answer. And this is for multiple choice. And then next we comes up to grammar and vocabulary text. And this is a short answer. You have to uh, rewrite because there are a grammatical error in these sentences. And then this is for the matching. And this is for the short answer. And there is a multiple choices. And next we come up for overall ability test. This test is consists of writing, listening, speaking, reading, grammar, and vocabulary uh, abilities. And this is for five number, a multiple choice based on the text above. And then for the gap filling, and then this is also gap filling into the passive form. And then this is the C test. You have to write it down the correct words and you have to guess what is the correct word is this. And the last is test for young learners. There are five numbers for multiple choices and then arrange the letter make into the correct words and then find the differences. Find five differences from between the, these two pictures and then the false word. Okay, uh, that's all my tests. And then I want to share with you what is the strength and the weaknesses from my own test. For the, for the strengths, the test is made original by me and there are some numbers that is modified from the sources. Okay, uh, I have uh, modified several numbers and and that's it and the test is having different types of parts such as multiple choice we can see here multiple choice short answers gap filling gap filling and then information transfer gap filling information transfer Complete the dialogue, make a creativity such as for letters and invitation uh, for writing tests. Okay. And then this test also is full of colors, so the students will not work with the test. And then for the young learner test, uh, we have already seen it. For the young learner test is made of full color, uh, which consists of variety parts such as multiple choice, crosswords, find the differences, arrange the word into the correct word. Arrange the letter, I mean, I'm sorry. And all the tests are made to know the ability of the students in their own understanding for each skills. And there are some weaknesses from my own test is there are some tests that is need more page or too long because the picture in it. For example, for the oral test here and then 
writing test. There are full of space and then pictures on it. So I have, uh, we need more pages. And the test is not made to know the measurement for English ability. And this is not a placement test that will give the results of which level the English level is the student is. Uh, so this this seven test is to is not to know what the level English level of the students such as a is this uh, the students is a one a two b one b two and so on. This this test is not made for it. And there are some part in writing test that is have more than one question for each number. Okay, such as this. Uh, for number 11, we have four, uh, four numbers to answer. And, and also uh, here for number 14, we have to fill in the blank with the word, with the phrases from the box. And this is also, and it can make uh, more time to answer it. Okay, so that's all my criticize for my own language assessment final test. And I hope uh, I can be a better to make a test in the future. Thank you and God bless us.